What's up chat? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a tip that I just learned about how to knock over your clutter. So first of all, I just wanted to say that I learned this today from one of my friends who is an amazing streamer and creator Fire Hero. You should really check out his Twitch channel and I'm going to link it in the description. So literally today I was touring some of the builds from the Dock and Roll build challenge and in Fire Hero's build, he had some objects placed which appeared to be laying down on their side. So naturally I freaked out and needed to know how he did this. He sent me a couple of links to some mods by Brazen Lotus and those links are in the description. And you can use these to alter the orientation of your clutter. And this will work on any clutter item that will usually snap to a shelf. So the first one can be found in Brazen Lotus's Clutter Your Kitchen set number two. Download this mod and you really only need one of the package files. So extract it. So this file is called the Anti Donkey Magnetic Rack. And once you locate that package file, you can just delete the others if you like. This mod uh, is a wall strip that is designed to allow knives to snap to it. However, any clutter will snap. And when it does, it changes the orientation. The second one can be found in Brazen Lotus's Books and Stuff bookstore set. Like the other mod, you really only need one of the package files to achieve what I'm doing in this video. Download the mod, extract it, locate the Brazen Lotus Bookstore Wall Shelf Slanted Woods package file. And once you find this one, you can just delete the rest if you like. Put those two in your mods folder and start your game. And be sure to have bb.move objects enabled as well as bb.show hidden objects if you want any debug clutter. So starting with the anti donkey magnetic strip object, just place it on a wall and grab a piece of clutter to test it. This will change the orientation of the clutter. So books will turn upright, glassware and vases will lay on their sides, etc. But beware the object will place exactly as, as it is on the wall. So you really have to try out different directions by placing it on different walls you know, different wall orientations. Once you place an object on the strip, just click and hold down alt key uh, on your keyboard to move the object away from the strip. But be aware that if there are any surfaces nearby that your object might clip to, uh, it'll just clip to it and change the orientation back to flat or however it normally is. Uh, you can try rotating your object. It rotates completely differently now. Um, I mean, it makes sense because the orientation has changed, but it's so different to see the objects move in that way. Uh, this is a fun little mod to play around with. Many times I've wanted to make something look a little messier, maybe wanted to lay an object on its side. So this mod definitely gives more options. It doesn't work with everything. Like I said, it only works for objects that snap to shelves, but this is a really cool mod for cluttering builds. I also like that I can now take metals from Strangerville and hang them on the wall. So this was something that I really wanted to do when I saw the metals in the actual uh, build catalog. I was like, ooh, those will look really cool on the wall. But then I was like, oh, they, lay, <laughs> they lie flat. So now you can have your metals lie flat and hang on the walls if you want to. Uh, so the second mod is the uh, angled bookshelf object. Um, so this will give you the ability to add a 45 degree angle to your clutter objects. So again, this will give you some more options when trying to clutter up a space and it works for it works the same. So once you place an object on the shelf, hold down the alt key to move it away and then place it where you like avoiding any surfaces that the object will snap to. So yeah, that that is something really cool. So you guys can play around with that. And I hope you liked this video. Maybe learned something new today. I had fun playing around with these objects and shout out again to Fire Hero for the awesome build tips. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Please hit that subscribe button if you like my content. I'm live on Twitch five days per week as well. If you want to catch my live show, links are in the description. And until next time, bye guys.